But the moment they get out in the fresh air, the moment they set foot outside, they find out that the monkey on the mind is still there, and so they call it a mind habit. There's two parts to this problem. The physical can be kicked quickly, but they claim the mind habit stays for life. This is a revelation to me. It should be a revelation to you. That the greatest problems of our nature is not that which is physical, but that which is in the mind. And I want to talk about your mind tonight. I want to talk about those thoughts who, like little animals, little monkeys, as this parable illustrates, begin to grow on us until they overwhelm us. Every every sin, every every habit, every every, habit, every, habit, every, habit, every, habit, every, habit, every sex act, act begins in the mind, and it starts as a simple little thought. Simple little thought. You can't stop those evil thoughts sometimes to come rushing by because of the things that happen to us in life. But it is another thing, and if you don't play with it, if you don't toy with it. It will leave you alone, it won't crawl on board, it won't latch itself to your mind. But if you feed it, if you toy with it, if you play with it, that little monkey, that little thought is going to grow until it finally obsesses you, until it drives you, and you feel more fully preoccupied with it, whether it be sex, whether it be any of these things I mentioned, it will control your very life. will drive you to act out your thoughts. But you cannot find freedom. You cannot find release if you've got a monkey on your mind. Driving out every other thought. Driving out that which is decent and pure and clean. Then I look at their eyes. I look in their eyes and I know they're not there for exercise. There's a monkey on the mind. The monkey on the mind. The monkey on the mind. The monkey on the mind. Just on the mind.